Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are talking about top 10 places to visit in the United States of America. Number 10, Grand Canyon. Grand doesn't begin to do this canyon justice. Measuring approximately 277 river miles in length, up to 18 miles in width and a mile deep, this massive chasm in northern Arizona is truly a natural wonder. For six million years, the Grand Canyon has expanded with the help of the mighty Colorado River, and for centuries, people from all over the globe have traveled to gaze out over its red and orange grandeur. Managed by the National Park Service and officially designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Grand Canyon leaves its approximately 6 million visitors per year awestruck. But if you're seeking a secluded escape to Mother Nature, you should be prepared, the Grand Canyon can be very crowded. The South Rim, home to the Grand Canyon Village and the well-worn Bright Angel Trail, is particularly popular for sightseers and hikers. It is on this side that you'll find the most amenities. For a break from the crowds, head to the North Rim. This is the place for backwoods camping and hardcore hiking. For an unforgettable view of the canyon, consider signing up for a helicopter tour. The best times to visit the Grand Canyon are March through May and September through November, when daytime temperatures are cool and crowds are thin. Number 9, Yosemite National Park. Yosemite is located in eastern central California in the United States. West of the park are the major cities of San Francisco and Sacramento, California. Southeast of the park is Las Vegas, Nevada. South of the park is Los Angeles, California. One of California's most formidable natural landscapes, Yosemite National Park features nearly 1,200 square miles of sheer awe, towering waterfalls, millennia-old sequoia trees, striking, daunting cliff faces and some of the most unique rock formations in the United States. But despite its enormous size, most of the tourist activity takes place within the 8-square-mile area of Yosemite Valley. Here you'll find the park's most famous landmarks, Half Dome and El Capitan, as well as excellent hiking trails through the natural monuments. Even inexperienced hikers can enjoy Yosemite, guided tours and climbing lessons are available from local adventure outfitters. Just don't expect to experience it by yourself. Like so many other American tourist destinations, crowds are the biggest obstacles to an enjoyable Yosemite vacation, approximately 4 million people visit each year. But if you go at the right time and start your day a little earlier than usual, Mother Nature's wonders will reveal themselves to you in a miraculous and serene way. The best times to visit Yosemite are May and September, when the park is accessible but not too crowded. It's important to know that many roads and trails in Yosemite are closed for the majority of the year due to snow. Snow can come as early as October and arrives in full force in November, typically remaining until March. Number 8, Maui. The island of Maui is the second largest of the islands of the state of Hawaii at 727.2 square miles, 1,883 square kilometers, and is the 17th largest island in the United States. Maui is the largest of Maui County's four islands. Maui is not nearly as large as the Big Island, nor is it as small as Lanai, as bustling as Oahu or as quiet as Kauai. For many Hawaii vacationers, Maui is just right, offering a taste of just about everything the Aloha State has to offer, from impressive wildlife to intriguing history and culture. While on a visit here, you can shimmy alongside professional hula dancers, golf along coastal fairways, sail down a zip line, snorkel alongside five different types of sea turtles, or simply lounge along some of Hawaii's most notable beaches. One of the archipelago's most popular tourism spots, Maui can be found sandwiched between the Big Island and the much tinier Molokai, which you can explore by signing up for one of the best Maui tours. Maui is divided into five distinct regions, many travelers base themselves along the coasts of South Maui, home to the famous Wailea Beach, or West Maui, where the sands of Kanapali Beach and the music from the old Lahaina Luau are located. But the rest of the island should not be missed. Travel along the road to Hana to experience East Maui's scenic coastline, explore Haleakala, the world's largest dormant volcano, in the upcountry and discover the former tribal battlegrounds of central Maui's Iao Valley State Park. And for a bird's eye view of it all, reserve a spot on one of Maui's best helicopter tours. The best times to visit Maui are April through May and September through November. 
The spring and fall shoulder seasons provide the pleasant weather Hawaii vacationers seek without the high rates and heavy crowds that accompany the summer and winter. However, if you're into surfing, you'll want to travel in the winter for the best conditions. Number 7, Glacier National Park. Glacier National Park is located in the northwest corner of Montana along the spine of the Rocky Mountains. Named for the remnants of glaciers from the Ice Age, Glacier National Park is located on the border of Canada and Montana. It is often called the crown of the continent because of its dizzying array of natural beauty. A favorite spot among hikers, the park features a variety of trails for all skill levels, ranging from the easy trail of the cedars, home to towering and beautiful cedars, to the challenging Grinnell Glacier, which offers sweeping views. What's more, the park boasts more than 700 lakes, numerous waterfalls and two mountain ranges, spread across more than 1 million acres that shelter a variety of wildlife. Aside from its breathtaking geological features, it's also home to a fair amount of history. The Going to the Sun Road, a scenic, 50-mile drive through the park, is a national historic landmark and an engineering marvel that offers spectacular views, as well as access to popular hiking trails. Plus, many of the park's lodges, chalets and hotels were constructed by the Great Northern Railway in the early 20th century and are on the National Register of Historic Places. Care to visit a UNESCO World Heritage Site? You'll find that here, too, the Waterton Glacier International Peace Park. The best time to visit Glacier National Park is in July and August. This is the peak season for visitors, with daytime temperatures averaging in the low 80s and nighttime temps dipping into the 40s. Number 6. New York City. New York City is situated on one of the world's largest natural harbors, with water covering 36.4% of its surface area. New York City is composed of five boroughs, each of which is coextensive with a respective county of the state of New York. The five boroughs Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, the Bronx, and Staten Island were created when local governments were consolidated into a single municipal entity in 1898. Amid Gotham's iconic landmarks and towering skyscrapers, you'll experience a vibrant culture permeating each of the city's distinctive neighborhoods and boroughs. Follow trendsetters to the East Village in Brooklyn to check out indie boutiques, iconic bakeries and trendy coffee shops. Afterward, peruse the racks of the sleek shops lining Fifth Avenue, admire the cutting-edge art collections at the MoMA and the Met, catch a memorable show on Broadway or sit down for a meal at the latest IT restaurant. As the most populous city in the U.S. Set at the forefront of food, fashion and the arts, NYC requires stamina. But don't let the Big Apple's frenetic sights and sounds intimidate you from soaking up its grandeur. Enlist the help of a local to help you navigate it all. Wander through the concrete jungle and you'll discover roaring taxis zipping down bustling blocks, fast-paced pedestrians strolling past on their way to marquee galleries and trendy cocktail bars, and Times Square's neon lights flickering at all hours. And yet, the city's twinkling lights and chaotic corners also invite you to embrace every New York minute, explore every enclave and create your own urban adventure. The best time to visit New York is any time. Each season in Gotham offers visitors plenty of reasons to visit. Early fall offers crisp breezes, bright sun and comfortable temperatures while late fall and winter make merry with the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and holiday decorations. Deep winter, January and February, is cold, but that also means cheaper hotel rates. Spring is glorious and New Yorkers celebrate the thaw by taking to the streets, shopping at outdoor markets, frolicking in Central Park and dining outside. Summer is hot, but hey, so are lots of places, and at least this is New York. Number 5, Bar Harbor. Famously known as the gateway to Acadia National Park, Bar Harbor, Maine, has enjoyed a centuries-long reputation as a scenic respite that combines all the best qualities of the state. Its placement along Frenchman Bay means that travelers are spoiled with soothing water views left and right, as well as craggy coastlines that look straight out of a landscape painting. Plus, it's the perfect jumping-off point for some of the best whale-watching tours in Maine. Not only that, but the town fosters a special kind of charm that makes it feel as if you've stepped out of real life and walked into the pages of a storybook. Though, the abundance of finger-licking local lobster will certainly snap you back into reality in the best way possible. This is the kind of place you visit to reset and get back to marveling in the basics, taking a nice long stroll, 
watching the water sway as the day fades and enjoying tasty local grub. Bar Harbor is perfect for all of that. The best time to visit Bar Harbor is from June to August. Number 4, Key West, Florida. Known for warm beaches and eccentric residents with a live-in-the-moment philosophy, Key West offers a relaxed yet unexpected seaside adventure. Do as the residents, known as conks, do and see where that free spirit might take you, possibly on a guided tour or a snorkeling trip. Take a stroll, sip a margarita, spy a six-toed cat and set your own pace. While Hurricane Irma did impact the area in late 2017, Key West is definitely back in business. The best time to visit Key West is between March and May. Number 3, Aspen, Colorado. Aspen, in Colorado's Rocky Mountains, is a ski resort town and year-round destination for outdoor recreation. In terms of winter wonderland status, few destinations can compare to Aspen. This scenic mountain town is straight out of a snow globe, featuring picturesque mountain chalets hugged by the soaring Colorado Rockies. Of course, the main draw here is skiing and there are four premier ski areas nearby that cater to powderhounds of all levels. It's also a great jumping-off point for some of the best Colorado snowmobile tours. But there's more to Aspen than winter sports, with high-end shopping, fascinating museums, funky galleries and fun festivals, it might be a struggle to make it to the slopes. No matter how you choose to spend your time here, it will be a vacation you'll never forget. For several decades now, this village has been the diamond in the Roaring Fork Valley, and we're not just talking figuratively. This small ski town has long been a respite for the rich and famous, with high-end resorts. The best time to visit Aspen is from December to February. Number 2, Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, on Lake Michigan in Illinois, is among the largest cities in the U.S. Famed for its bold architecture, it has a skyline punctuated by skyscrapers. The city of Chicago is the most populous city in the U.S. state of Illinois and the third most populous city in the United States, following New York City and Los Angeles. Located on the shores of freshwater Lake Michigan, Chicago was the youngest U.S. city to exceed a population of 100,000. Chicago's population grew to 503,000 by 1880 and then doubled to more than a million within the decade. Its population has reported 2,746,388 in the 2020 census. The best times to visit Chicago are April through May and between September and October, when the temperatures are warm, a variety of festivals take place and crowds are manageable. Number 1, San Francisco, California. A jumbled collage of colorful neighborhoods and beautiful views, San Francisco draws those free-spirited types who have an eye for edgy art, a taste for imaginative cuisine and a zeal for adventure. It's really not surprising that songwriter Tony Bennett left his heart here. The city boasts jaw-dropping sights, world-class cuisine, cozy cafes and plenty of booming nightlife venues, there's no shortage of ways to stay busy here. Spend an hour or two sunning yourself alongside sea lions on the bay, admiring the views of the city from Twin Peaks, or strolling along the marina. And for the quintessential San Franciscan experience, enjoy a ride on a cable car or hop on a boat tour for a cruise beneath the Golden Gate Bridge. Often described as Los Angeles's more refined northern cousin, cool and compact San Francisco takes the big city buzz exuded by its southern counterpart and melds it with a sense of small-town charm. Here, you'll discover a patchwork of culture flourishing throughout San Francisco's many vibrant quarters. Follow the crowds to the touristy Fisherman's Wharf area, which offers spectacular views of Alcatraz, before heading along the bay to the Presidio for a glimpse of the famous Golden Gate Bridge. But don't forget to save time for the Mission District, the Haight and the Castro for exposure to all of the different varieties of the San Francisco lifestyle. And when you're ready for a break from the city, join one of San Francisco's best wine tours for a relaxing day trip. The best time to visit San Francisco is from September to November. Believe it or not, fall offers some of the city's warmest temperatures year-round, not to mention fewer crowds than summer. Spring is another good time to visit thanks to its mild temperatures and lack of rain, compared to other parts of California. The Golden Gate City witnesses a surge in tourism during the summer as people head west in search of sun, sand and surf. However, the fluctuating climate can quickly trounce a day at the beach. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below.
If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.